hey guys you all welcome back to my youtube channel and in this video we do have a motorola e32 which is locked on frp google account verification lock and in this video i want to share with you guys the process that i use to bypass the frp lock on this device now to get started you need to connect the device to a wi-fi network so that we can confirm that there is a Google account lock on this device before we proceed. So I tried to enter the, my old password and it still says incorrect password, which means that I've actually forgotten my PIN. So let's use the Google account instead. So guys, here we can all see that this my Motorola device is actually locked by Google account verification lock. And the device is asking us to sign into the previous Google account that was synced to this device, which unfortunately I have forgotten my email address and password. Yeah, so let's head back and then bypass this device very quickly. The first thing I did is I tried the old manual method which I showed you in my previous video by going to the emergency information and tapping on the pencil icon on the right corner of your screen. Now I'm trying to bypass the device using the old method, but it's not working. And this could be due to the Android version. Yes. So I'm trying the manual method and it's not working, which means we need to try other method as well. Hmm. So the next thing I did was I tried the CM2 Infinity Chinese Dongle. As you can see, I have already set up the the software and now it is waiting for the device to connect then i went ahead and turned off the motorola device and then i connected my motorola device to the system waiting for the software to bypass the frp lock You know, I've used this CM2 Infinity Chinese dongle to bypass FRP lock on a couple of Motorola device before. But unfortunately, after trying it on this Motorola device, I realized that it is not working. The CM2 method also failed. Yes, so I had to look for the chipset of this Motorola E32 and E32S which I realized that the Motorola E32 E32S is actually an SPD chipset, which is a Spectrum chipset. Then I decided to try the Unlock2 software, which I believe that the Unlock2 software is going to help us to fix this FRP lock. So once I launched the Unlock2 software, 
I went straight to the SPD platform. So let's go ahead and select the Spectrum platform and then select the model Motorola. And then the model number we are going to select Motorola E32. This process that I'm showing you right now also works for Motorola E32, E32S, E40 and several other devices. It also works for E13, E20, E30 and some other models as well. And once you've selected the model, then you go ahead and click Erase FRP. At this moment, you need to make sure that your Motorola device is turned off. Once it is turned off, then you hold the volume up and down buttons and plug in your USB cable. So the FRP bypass is successfully done. By the unlock tool software yes so anytime that you got a motorola e32 e32s e13 e20 e40 and some other models as well which is the spd chipset you do have to try the unlock tool software to help you bypass it smoothly without any effort now let's go ahead and set up the motorola device and to confirm that everything is fixed. Guys, you can see there is, no, there is no more Google account lock on this device. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you like this video, drop a comment, and I will see you in my next video. Stay blessed.